peace is at the very heart of human development. Peace I bring you, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of A New Direction podcast. And as usual, we have another intriguing issue up for discussion. We'll be looking at the term peace, as in what peace is, but our focus will be on who the peacemaker is and how we can achieve the peace which he comes with. We have a video which we'll be playing, which would form the basis of our discussion as we go on. But as usual, we have familiar faces on the forum with me, which will be joining our discussion and um, as well analyzing what we have for you guys today. We have um, Brother Kufre. Good morning to you all. We have um, Sister Uduak. Good morning. We have um, Brother Camillus. Good morning all. We have um, Sister Yuti. Good morning to you all. And I myself am Brother David. So we'll get into what we have for you. But we can't do that without actually letting you guys know what peace is or what the term peace implies. And as usual, we always say that there's a concept that relates to everything we bring to you guys as an issue for discussion. There's a concept that relates to it as it concerns, concerns the spirit of God or as it concerns God as against the idea, the idea of man. Yes. So when we talk about peace, we need to look at it firstly from the concept of the spirit because peace is not something man can achieve. No. Exactly. And without without any misunderstanding or to avoid any sort of misunderstanding, we need to clear up that statement that I've just made that peace is not something man can can um, bring about mm. yes. by himself. Yes. So we have described peace as being the product or a product of God. Yeah. So, in order to make it clear enough for our viewers to understand, we we'll describe it as, or we we'll describe it like this: that peace is not a product of man, yeah. yes. but a product of, of God. God. Yeah. And the only way men can get that peace that is a product of God is only when men fulfill obedience Amen. or submission yeah. to God. Yeah. And it paints a picture to show that. You can't fulfill obedience or submission to God when there, there is, is no, no God. God yes. So definitely, peace being a product of God and being something men have to achieve or something men have to 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 get from God when God is available. available. Yes, that means the first process or the first means that peace can get to man. Is when God is available. Yeah. So once God is available, the next step to achieving the peace that comes with the appearance of God is our obedience or our submission to the person of God. Yeah. So you can now get to see that peace is not something men can achieve. Yeah. Which is why in the video you can you can hear what what he would describe as the peace, peace. that men can achieve and men have achieved mm -hmm. down the line, whether it's in the past or how we can achieve that peace in the future. Yeah. And you can see that description is based on the idea on, or the understanding of man. Yes. Yes. And you can see based on what we have come to, sh what, we have been, what we have been shown by this source, which we always say we are reaching our people from, that what he has explained or what he's trying to analyze or let the people know is what we all have, we had known yes. prior to this. Yeah. We have all known that to be a, be the only way of um, achieving, achieving peace. peace. Yes. But now we have come to understand that peace, what we even know as peace as men, has, has no that bearing is. with yes. God. Because yes. with man, when we talk about achieving peace, or when we talk about the means of achieving peace, we have described peace as the absence of um, certain elements yes. that would trigger Triggers chaos. Let yeah. me not even no. I don't. I don't want to use trigger chaos, but we have described peace 
as the absence of certain elements mm. like that what? disrupt that disrupt the way we as men have designed to operate. To operate. Yeah. That's what we have described peace as. I'm not I'm yes. not trying to restrict it to just war. Because once you restrict it to just war, there's a there's a there's a picture he paints. But peace has been described as men now has described peace. Or rather, the absence of peace has been what was I saying? No. Men have described peace or men have dis- defined peace as certain or the absence. Yeah, men have defined peace as the absence of certain elements yeah. that hamper or restricts or destabilizes our designed pattern or our designed way of living. living yes. So peace is the absence of, of those, those things. That's what we have described peace as. The yeah. absence of certain elements that disrupt our ways of doing things. Mm-hmm. That's what we have described peace as. Okay. So anything that comes in to disrupt that our way of doing things is not peaceful. Yeah. That's what our uh, idea of, yes. of peace. That, that is why peace. we always put it as the absence of war because mm-hmm. war is not really when somebody got a gun. Yeah. You know, that's what we see as war in the our yeah. war. It means he got a gun to come and kill you or maybe, you know, mad, whatever thing you would describe. But what wars against man is just what you explain. Yes. That's why most times we put it that way that peace is the absence of war. Yes. It's the moment that you do not have anything oppressing you. Yes. That's what we define peace to be. Yes. But if you look at it from what you are saying, it's not, it's not wrong. Mm. It's not wrong because that is what peace is. Yes. If you look at the way the world has been, our world, not the world like we are not part of the world. We have been part of that world. Yeah. The only thing is that based on the advent of this personality, we are now trying to come out from that world, even though we are there in the world, but not functioning according to that world. Yes. So the moment now we now have is to let the world know that we can be in this present world because the world, world, it doesn't attribute to the universe. No. But that is where I'm going to. Let me just put it that way because that is what we know as human. Mm-hmm. So it's to let our world to understand that we can be in this world and the things that is, that, that the crisis that we have been having, the trouble that we have been having, will just quench. Let me put it like, like that. It will just go off. Yes. We we'll just be made calm because what troubles humanity is that wind of the spirit. Yes. That's why you said that peace is not the, the product, product of, of man, man yes. but rather the product of God. Yes. Yes. Because the spirit that generated humanity as a whole, man, is the one that is setting the confusion that is going on. Yes. So the only way obedience can be fulfilled for us to get that calmness is when he now arrives with that his person called God in the midst of a people, and the person voice out, and men now listen to him and do according to how he said that. You now see that everything will change. Yes. So you can look at peace from that angle, that the things that trouble us as a whole, mm-hmm. what, what, the mystery that will come to make those things calm down could just be seen as peace. And that cannot be ordinary person than God himself. See, see where, see where I'm actually looking at what you, what you're trying to describe as, because you have, you have just said now that there's the absence of war as in what we have described as peace and you are now and, I, and you are now putting war in a in a in a in a broad spectrum not just to mean fights yes amongst. but why i didn't use the word war and i tried to use certain elements that disrupt the way we as men have designed mm. our lives to go yeah. designed our living to go mm. this is the reason when certain things happen that looks like it's it causes war even when it's not the kind that the ukraine and the russian guys are are, are involved with that involves weapons yeah those things come in to disrupt the way we operate yes it comes in to disrupt what we have described as our economy it comes in to disc to disrupt our marriages 
it comes in to disrupt certain businesses or if not our businesses so what we describe now as peace is the absence of those things that disrupt that way that has already been described in the scripture to be the way of man yes. that's why i put it that way because we are we are not seeing the way we are living as being out of course yeah. or in the or yeah we, we don't we don't see the way we are living as being out of course as being described or having been described in the scripture we see the way we are living as the way we have to live or the way we are supposed to live yeah. so the, the 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 peace that we are looking for is the removal of elements that come to disrupt that way now that we, we are, are living. living. Those, those so are yes, those are activities. So yeah. we want anything that will come in to, to disrupt that way we do things not to come in. Yes. So we are not seeing the issue in the things we are doing. Yeah. Yeah. We are seeing the issue in what comes in to disrupt those things that we are doing. Okay. Yes. That's why if you if if you if you refer to the scripture, it was put down there and I think it is um in Matthew chapter 10, downwards towards 30, 34. So Remember in Isaiah, before Matthew, Isaiah had described the birth of, of God, God or the formation of God. Yeah. That a child, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, yeah. and his name shall be called Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Yeah. Shall be called the Prince, of peace. Prince of, of peace, wonderful father. But the emphasis is on the Prince of Peace. Yes. Now, in the supposed time of fulfillment, which is now in Matthew, that said Prince of Peace is now on ground. Yes. In the midst of a people, and he's telling them that don't think I'm come to send peace. peace. On on earth. Earth. This is someone who has been described as, as being the, the prince, prince of, of peace. peace. Yes, that's because he's all. Let me let me just finish what he said. He said I don't think I'm come to set peace on okay. earth, but a sword. sword. Yes. That he has come to set at variance a father against yes. the son, the mother against, against the, the daughter, daughter, and so on and so forth. Yes. This is someone that has been described to be the Prince, the Prince of, of Peace. Peace. That's because he knows that what he's coming to do, which is his establishment of peace, will be seen as peace in the sights of the men who he's coming to establish peace for. That's because he's coming to overhaul our system, yeah. to set his own system. And that's his system which he's going to set in the sights of men in the size of the people he's coming to meet won't look like peace. It's like yes. it's like what I'm coming to bring is peace, but not you won't see that it as same peace. peace. Not the same way you see as peace. Today. Yes, I'm being, I'm coming with my own peace, not your own peace. Like for instance, he has it has been put in the scripture there that the children of this world marry and are given in marriage, but they we shall be accounted worthy to obtain that, that word. word which he is coming with and the resurrection of the dead. Neither marry nor are given in marriage. So imagine the Prince of Peace now is on ground and he's saying that what you do as marriage it's doesn't over. count to me. Yeah. Does it look like he has come to set peace? Yeah. Because he has come now to scatter a foundation that the world has been established on. Everybody is used to. So he's now coming to say, uh -uh, no more. But for you now, the establishment of peace in that system should be that anything that should come in to make marriages not work should be taken away. Mm. That's what you should see as, as peace. peace. Yeah. So that's why I describe peace, or what we as men know as peace, as the absence of those elements that would disrupt the way we do our own things. Yeah. So you now get to see why the peace that is of God is not what we as men know as peace, and why peace, as it actually relates to God, who has it, cannot be achieved by men, men yes. especially in the absence of oh, his person. Yes. That, that, you know, I said something, I said, peace, if you want to summarize it, you can see that peace is God. Yes. You understand? Because, you see, in the absence of God, humanity tried to exercise their own way of peace. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you look at where we see our peace, it's man. The peace of man is when we now set up, you know, when we are doing one or fighting one another based on those things that we always want, just like what you described. Yeah. So, and those things backfire against us because the spirit is there to always make 
the sure. system backfire against us yes. when we don't function the way he wants us to function. Yes. So when those things happen, you see that, oh, it's like, ah, uh ah, -uh, why are things like this? That is what is going on in our world. And men now will now gather and arrange themselves and say, no, we are setting so, 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 and so, so group to go and, you know, talk Make to people peace, and bring peace. let them calm down mm. so that peace will be established. Yeah. You see that our own establishment of peace is how we can come in and talk to one another to calm down. But the one who should do the talking, which is the peace, is God himself. Yes. Because we as a people are trading on a foundation that is wrong. Yes. So if correction needs to come, it must come from God. Yes. So when we now said peace is not the absence of war, it's based on what we know in our world. Mm. An absence of war is not peace. Yes. But peace is a personality. Yes. And when once that personality enters, he said that the personality you have been looking for peace from, I don't think that I come to give you that same peace. Oh. Yes. Because that's what he said. Yes. Peace I leave unto you, not as the word give it, give, give I unto, unto you. you. So yeah. you see that the world is trying to exercise what we call peace. peace. Yeah. And can man help his fellow man? Yeah. We have been saying that here. No. And that is what is going on in the world today. And if you look at it, even when we are trying to do all this, thing, we still sit down to cry for God to come and help us. Or maybe when we go and establish those forums, you see that we are sitting down to pray first to God to come and give us the enablement to establish peace our way, which never worked and would never work. So I want to just put this to our world, that no matter what we do, and no matter the forum we said, the summit, that whatever thing we try to establish as peace, when that one that is called the Prince of Peace is not there, it will never work. It will never. So that is what everyone needs to understand. And why are we sitting down here to pass this brief moment to our world is to let them to understand that that spirit that have the capacity to establish peace, let me not use the word that person first. So let me put it this way. To our world, that that spirit that has the capacity to establish the everlasting peace to humanity has been better in our world today. And having seen the work beginning is the reason why we have this moment to let our world to understand that, listen, no matter what we establish for ourselves, it can't work. Yes. Because the advent of God is supposed to make us stop what we are doing as a people to embrace his own way. Yes. Which will now bring the final solution that we have been crying for, for God to come and help us. See, you see, we as men, we look at peace outwardly. But peace is not something outwardly, it's inwardly. And anything that has to be done inwardly, there's no man that can do that work. Yeah. That's why peace comes with, let me say, freedom comes with peace. But until we are free. And we, are, we cannot free ourselves. It is the one who should make us free has to come and free us in order for us to have peace. Peace is not a product of man, as my brother stated before now. Peace is a product of God. It is only God that knows the ways of peace. There is no man that knows the ways of peace. It is by God that we can have peace. Peace is not something we can, you know, just like you say, it's a, a, a kind of absence of a war. You can see what even caused the war is the the man himself yes. Yes. because there's no peace in the man yes. so whatever you are seeing outward is coming from inward yeah. so without that spirit coming to deal with us to remove all those things to free us that's what freedom has to come face in order to establish peace, peace yes. because it without this freedom without us being free from this bondage of our own ideas our own will we cannot have peace you understand so peace is actually the product of the spirit of God that has to come and establish his presence with us in order for us to follow his uh, principle, his standard to achieve peace. Without that, there's no peace with man. Okay, so let's um, proceed with the video we have so we can get into analyzing what has been said on it. So hit play. Peace is at the very heart of human development. Peace I bring you, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. That statement attributed to Jesus Christ is not only known to him, 
I can refer to many religions, both within and without Africa, that talk about peace. Peacemakers and peacemaking are, is critical because we recognize that without peace, without tranquility, you cannot realize your potential. And, and African communities, like other communities, have always had means of mediating conflict because conflict is part and parcel of human engagement. Can I say something? Yes, if you listen to what you just said first. Mm -hmm. Which there is a part I wanted us to end that that first day that I just said. He said, "Without peace, that we will not realize our what With potential." Yeah. That should show you who peace is. Yes. I don't know why you are falling. Okay. Based on the brief moment we just had now to talk about what peace is yeah. and who peace should be or peace come maker. from, yeah. you can understand that there is no man that can establish that. There's no man that can establish that. Yes. But there is something he said before. You know, we said that peace is not... When we say that peace is not the absence of war, and if you look at what we have established in our world to be peace, you will understand that the nature of man which always go ahead to do things his way is the reason why we have the crisis we have. Mm -hmm. You can see that. Yes. Because if we go on to do the things we know how to do, but it's not according to how the creator, the one that created all of us, plan that we should do things. Yes. That thing will always backfire against us. Yes. You said something that the spirit that is in man, we have been saying that, it's not just in this forum. The challenge we have is the spirit that is in us. So before anything can be established, it means something must come into to work on that spirit that we have. Because you cannot go into a group of people or a country and gather them and talk to them and they will change by just saying, stop fighting or stop killing one another. Yeah. You see that the first thing that will make a man to come or change the personality of that person is when the spirit brings his word into the heart of man. Because... The problem we have today is coming from right. the heart of men. Exactly. Which is the spirit of man. Yes. So you see that before any man can realize his potential, which is what the spirit has planned, that this is how the man I brought is going to function, yes. to bring out the purpose why I brought him. Yeah. He needs to intervene. Yes. No man can do that. That's why I think he described the, the statement of um, Jesus or Christ in the, in the scripture as being that he is coming with a kind of peace that surpasses understanding. understanding. That's because if you follow what we have been describing earlier, that the peace he comes with is it doesn't relate to what we know as peace. Yes. And if you follow the brief talk he just had, he said that here in Africa we always have a way or a, we always have a, um, a means of um, mediating conflict. conflict. Mm -hmm. So that's what peace is actually. With, with man mm. is the mediating of of um, yeah. conflict yeah. that's how we as men know to bring about, about peace, peace. Mm. but you're, you're you're hearing someone who is saying according to the writing that he's coming with a kind of peace or the kind of peace he's coming with is the kind that surpasses okay. understanding. understanding so it means that what he's coming to establish as peace just as we have said is different from what you know yes. peace that means he's not coming to mediate anything yes. because if you remember there was there was there was a, there's a particular passage in the scripture that describes something like that that um he says um was it like um there was there, there was an instance that looked like there were there were siblings who were who we are arguing about um, inheritance or something like yeah, that. Master asked yeah. My so, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. So it was. It, so that issue was brought to him. Mm -hmm. I was like, Master, that he should come Speak and speak to uh, my brother to yeah. divide the inheritance should come and, with me. He should come and yeah. step in and mediate and make sure that whatever inheritance that is mm -hmm. that is mm -hmm. that, that, that that is for me should be given to me. Mm -hmm. And okay. you can remember what his statement was according to the writing. Yeah. Say, so who made me a judge? The first and word he divider. made is man. man. Yes. He said, man, would come out here. He said, man, who, who make me a judge and a divider, divider over yes. you? 
So th that is because that personality is not coming to make you have your own thing. We have been saying that here. Yes. That is a challenge that everybody has today. Everybody wants to own something. Everybody wants to, this is my country. Yeah. This is my, the boundary of my country. This is my state. This is the boundary. So don't that cross here. This is my wife. Country. This is my money. This is my house. That is the problem of man. We have oil. We have, have gold. So now, that, 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 that idea now paints a picture of who we as men see as the peacemaker. That's why, if you remember earlier, we said that our focus would be on the, the peacemaker. peacemaker. Yeah. Yeah. Because as far as I'm concerned, we have, we have, we have, we have, we have described, we have described what peace is. And you can't, you can't get it Find better than that. Yeah. It's as straightforward as, as an arrow. Depend, ooh, I, sorry, some arrows are curved, but mm -hmm. mostly, mostly they are straight. So it's as, it's as, it's as straightforward as that. So, but the focus is who a peacemaker is. Because if you, if you look at that instance now, it paints the person who comes to mediate, or it paints the person who, who steps in in the middle to now settle the two parties that as brings, being the peacemaker. That yeah. brings me into what he said, which skipped my mind before. That thing you just said, that paints a picture of who the peacemaker is. You know, he said something. He said that that statement he, he quoted that it's not only associated with. Uh, with, with Christ, Bible. with Jesus Christ alone. Yeah. alone. That's the word he used. Yes. With Jesus Christ alone. And yeah. that is where I wanted to come in. Yes. So the thing skipped my mind. Yeah. You see, you are you are talking about the, the one that should bring peace. Yes. Because that's what it is. Yes. There's somebody that should bring peace yeah. at that moment. Yes. So the one that should bring peace is telling you, peace I bring to you. Mm. Not like... And before yeah. he added the other one, even though that one is not connecting to what he said but that is a two different scripture that he quoted there yes together peace i live with you that's what he said in john i think john 14 27 yes. peace i live unto you. you not as the word not as the word give it give, 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 give i unto you peace i give peace i live with you that's the way he put it okay my peace i give unto you yes that is the step peace i live with you my peace I give unto you, not as the word give it, give I unto, unto you. Yes. It means there is a way the word administer their peace. Yes. But the one who should bring the peace, which I said before, is called the final, because that is the final boss of yes. everything we have been it talking here. Final yes. The final solution for man, the only solution. I use it final because we think that from men we can have solution. That's where we think. So when I use the word final, that does not mean that man has solution anywhere. Mm. The only solution man has is in, in God. God. Yes. Unfortunately, we don't believe that God needs to appear looking like us. That is where we have problems. So we can go to men who doesn't have the spirit of creation, that spirit that knows the foundation of humanity, to set a standard that can help us. We go to men to help us. Mm. So a man who should stand to mediate, to show you, that is why he's a mediator. He is the only mediator. Yes. So it means when he steps in, because of the spirit he comes with, he knows that you are you can't accommodate that spirit. You don't have a state that that spirit can come to and you'll be you you'll, you'll be able stand. to secure. Mm. So he he brings a word first that prepares the heart of the people, which I said before. So when you are talking about that statement is not attributed to Jesus Christ alone. Yes. Ah it's for Jesus Christ alone. Yeah, yeah. If you say it's not for Jesus, I will agree with you. But when you say Jesus Christ alone, that is why it's Jesus Christ. Because it is the one whom the Spirit has chosen to bring to humanity as the helper that will help them. So that is the one that will bring the peace. But when you now said it's not for him alone, that is why we keep going around thinking we can establish peace for ourselves. He's saying that you can, you can attribute it to other religion, and that's because... The idea of Jesus Christ is a Christian is a Christian thing, which is which, wrong. Which is wrong. Which is what we always try to to clarify here on this platform that the Bible is was not written for, for Christians. Christians. Yeah. Yes. For mankind. That the Bible is a book. It wasn't even written for man, as in we the people. It wasn't yes. written for us. Yes. It was written about that a one. Yes. It was written about God. Yes. About what He would have to do yes. when. Yes. He's available, available when he's around in the midst of the people whom the spirit of the Lord, that overall spirit, had brought 
before his appearance. Yes. But the book has now been made available that men have access to it, even when that person whom it's written about is okay. not there. Yes. So a section of the men have now carved out a system or a pattern for themselves, and they have now laid hold on the book, making the book look like it's something that was written about them or for yeah. them and the way they have designed to live what they call their life. And they, they made it look, look as if the book is an event, like it's a history book that has had event that yes. happened. And, and they now, now make it seem like whatever we are doing or everything we do, that's those who have coined out coined out a, 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 a way of yeah, living that, 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 yes. they, that, that they now attribute to the book. Mm. They now make it seem like whatever they are doing is something the book or the appearance of the book approved them to do. It's yeah. like what we are doing now is because that's how the book yeah. said yes. we should do. Mm. Forgetting that men were already on ground doing their things before the book was made, made available. available. Yes. So what we are trying to clarify is the fact that the book is not, that's the Bible, yeah. is not a book for, for a second second. Yeah. No, it's a book for men, for man. Or is a book that is written about God and the work he would come to do in the, the lives, lives of, of men. men. Yes. And just as Brother Kufre will always say, say that when you read scriptures like if a man any would man, be my yes. disciple, or if any man would be come my disciple, yes. or if any man will come, come to, to me, me and to hate not yes. give 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 certain descriptions that should qualify a man to be his disciple when he comes to me. He said that he didn't say if any Christian comes to me, yeah. he didn't say if any Muslim. Any any Hindu, Hindu. any any pagan, any um, Jew. He says it's any man. Both and, the male and the female. Yeah. And we have now described that from the beginning, he created them male and female. That is one section of it. Yeah. They were created male and female. So even the male and the female are man. Yes. And whether you're a Christian or you're a Muslim or you or you or you're a Hindu, whatever. you are still a man because man is that spirit that we as a people we are created Medical, with. Yes. Yeah. We function by. So that's what the spirit sees. Ah. So when he's saying, if any man should come to me, he's referring to everybody. His, his that's why he said that if you say you have no sin in you, say you're a liar and the truth is not in you. Yeah. He didn't say if you are if you are if you're a Christian and you say that. No, he's referring to everybody because that sin now that he has described, if you say you don't have sin, is the nature of man. Yes. So he's saying that if you claim not to be a man, that you claim not to have that nature of man. You're a liar because everybody has it because that's what you are made with. with yes. yes. So that clear that's just to clarify that because when he's saying that it's not attributed to Jesus Christ alone, that's because we view that statement from Jesus yes. Christ mm -hmm. as a Christian, Christian thing. thing. So yes. there are other people, other religions, Religion. just as he said it, mm -hmm. that have their own preaching of peace that still borders around that same preaching or teaching from the supposed Jesus Christ that existed from the Bible. Yes. I think that, that has been clear already because there has never been something anything like that in the world. But you see, those things are put in the book, which is where you see the confusion. You know, when you said the Bible, as we keep saying here, it's not a book for Christians. It's just that that is what the Spirit used to make sure it confuse man, yes. humanity as a whole. That's why when we sit down here, we don't point a finger at somebody or a section of person, but everyone watching us need to understand that every of the mis misconception. misconception that we see in the world today is what the spirit engineer. Yes. Because how is he going to show his supreme supremacy or his supremacy when he's with man? From the first one that he has chosen to say, This is the one I have chosen, and I put my spirit in him. So he will become the one that will bring the peace as the prince of peace yes. to humanity. Yes. That is what it is. So it, it is just that sometimes we say we lack words because we don't know how to explain this thing to somebody because these things are not just explanation. But we try to do things this way sometimes to guide the people. You have said before, this is the means, the only means for now, which we need to reach the people to let them be aware of what is going on. But that this will not continue forever. You remember one of the moments? Yes. Yeah. And that is how it is. So everyone needs to understand that this forum, we are not here to teach people something. 
We are not here to exercise knowledge. We are here to let the people know that with God, with the appearance of the Spirit in the world, he set a standard that we must embrace and listen to his voice so that we can follow it for him to work on our heart before anything that we are looking for can be established. Yes. Yes. And, and there have never been God in our world ever before, before, before now. now. Yeah. But now that he has arrived, it's for us to embrace his presence and look, seek for, for his presence. Because he's the only one that can bring solution to all the problems that we are facing in this world. There's no amount of summit or gathering in the name of trying to bring solution or peace to our conflict that can bring solution to it. Mm -hmm. He's the only one that has that solution and he knows how to apply it. And everything that we have been facing, all the crises, the war, will just disappear. Okay, so that's what we have always been saying, even if it's not on this particular episode, but before now, all, all our previous episodes, that's the bottom line of everything. So, but let's hit play on the video so we can um, proceed. And parcel of human engagement, but and parcel of society. And it is therefore important to reiterate that peacemaking is an exercise that must never be poo-pooed, it must never be abandoned. Of course, peacemaking is not always successful, but history has also taught us that all conflicts throughout the ages always end with peace. Please hit pause briefly. So you choose. I just want to say something very, it's very... It's with what they just said. I just want to say something very, very briefly. He says that um, peacemaking is it's something that should... Um, that has never been... No, no, before that, he said that peacemaking is something that should... To ask to rephrase, but say that it's something that should that should um, continue. Yes. That should not be be, be stopped. Forgotten. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he said, "Is it poo pooed on?" I, I don't, I don't, yes. It sounded like that's what he said. Yeah, but so yes, in case I'm not sure, but that's why I want to rephrase it by saying that that, that peacemaking. That we should, if we don't do away with peacemaking. Yes, that we should peacemaking. Peacemaking is something that we should continue. We should continue with. And he says, but there was something he said. He said that um, peacemaking is not always successful mm. see that peacemaking is not always successful say but if there's anything history has shown yes. is that there has never been any conflict any conflict or any war that has uh, right. arisen, arisen. Mm -hmm. yes. always ends in, in peace. peace yes it's 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 funny because when he, when you're saying that peace that's peace making i mean that's how you put it mm -hmm. peacemaking is not always successful then you now go back and say that in history or history has shown that there is no war or conflict that has not ended in, in peace, peace. Mm -hmm. that means peacemaking is always successful mm -hmm. but that's not the point because he's just showing that he has contradicted himself but that's not the point but the point i'm trying to make is or what i'm trying to point out is him saying that Peacemaking is not always successful, one, and that peacemaking is something that should always continue, continue that's something that shouldn't stop. Remember, when you describe God as being a peacemaker, the peacemaker, the prince of peace, and you have also described him based, based on the idea or based on the knowledge you get from reading the Bible, or even if it's not from the Bible, what subconsciously we have been made to know certain things even though we don't know how they apply mm -hmm. so when we read about god and read about his ability or his capability of doing a thing that is eternal that is forever everlasting that nothing is, is added or nothing can be subtracted or removed from it that whatever it does is permanent. once and forever is permanent yes that's how we have described God to be, which is actually how yes. he is. So when you're saying that peacemaking is something that should to continue, yes. that's because that's something that men do. That what you're describing as that peacemaking that should continue should is that yeah. thing with men. And it's like saying that the problem should not end. So peacemaking should continue. Our mediating of conflict should always continue because, because peacemaking needs to continue. But... He's also saying that 
peacemaking is not always successful. But when you describe God as being the peacemaker, the peacemaker and describing what he does as being forever, once and forever, it means that once he has established peace, that peacemaking, that procedure doesn't continue. It's once and for all. Then when you also describe peacemaking as not always successful, it shows you who is doing that thing you're calling peacemaking. It shows you that God is not present or God is not involved in that thing you have called peace and it because never it's work. not always successful. Yes. And that's why it doesn't work. Yes. Because how do, you, how do you try to mediate peace and you say it's not always successful? If you're the peacemaker, once you show up, your peace should be established. Yes. So, but when you go to establish peace and you say it's not always so, successful, so it's because you are not in a position to establish peace. And it's because it's, it's a man thing. Because when you go in to mediate between two men, it's because, as what as, um, what Kamilu said earlier, this party is fighting for what he claims is his own. Yeah. Yeah. The other party is fighting for what he claims yeah. is his own. True. But if they are not fighting for ownership, they are fighting for ideologies, how they think they should be led to live in a certain way. How he still borders around see, still borders the problem around ownership. of man. The problem of man, which is where God intervened. Mm -hmm. The Lord that set us, set us like that. That is why he called man the God of the belly. He doesn't care about any other thing. He doesn't care about another person. He cares about himself. That is who man is. Yeah. So when you see that the spirit never said, when we say the spirit never said this, what? I, I want somebody to understand this. Thing. When, is, when we said God never set boundaries, we need to understand who God is and who the Lord is. Yeah. So the Lord that allowed man, we'll humanity to go that way, yeah. goes that way because he has said, since they want to build a tower to reach heaven with their, that their standard, mm. what I do yeah. is that I go down to make sure I confound their language. Yes. Means I create confusion in their midst. That is what it is. So when you see another person getting up to fight another person, it's the spirit that is doing it. Yes. But because that is where we call the wind, that is what is troubling humanity as a whole. But a still small voice is the voice of solution. Yeah. That voice is what humanity are yet to witness. And that is the presence of God in our midst. Mm -hmm. That is why we said to cut most of the explanation off. Right now, the only way things can work, because it's coming, you know, that is what we have seen. That is what we have heard. Yeah. It's coming. Remember the last time we talked about the danger that has to do with, how do we put it? Knowing when God. The necessity of yeah. knowing when God is in yeah. the midst of a people. Yes. Because there's a side effect of it. And what is that side effect? That when the spirit is better in a generation, which must start from a certain place, and they ignore that person, he said the crisis that they will see, they will need, crisis is part of the spirit program. But he causes the crisis for man because he doesn't want man to continue to go his way. Yes. But rather to go the way of God. Yes. So when he brings the person that he called the chosen one, the comforter, that God in the midst of a people. Now humanity has to listen to that person and you see that all the things that they are looking for will be solved. That is who the peacemaker is. Yes. yes. So now when he now said, think not that I come to send peace on earth. But a sword is because his word is coming to make sure he removes me and you as the head from that system of my own, my own wife. That's why I said, think not that I come to send peace on earth. For I came not to send peace, but a sword. Mm -hmm. He now started saying, a man against his uh, father, against his son. son. Because that is what we have established. My own father, my own mother, yeah. you, your own father, your own mother. So you have your own household, what we call family. This one has our own. This one has his own. So nobody cares about another person. That is not what God come to establish. Yes. The Lord knows that that is how he set man. So when he brings God in the midst of a people, is to come and remove us from that state before anything that we are looking for to get a solution can be achieved. Yes. But we have said something. We said, people say, are you saying that this personality now is going to sit as a, a, a president? I listened to him. 
he was talking about in one of the video how africa before africa can stand that there must be one president that will control africa he said it that's why i love the way when when i listen to him i like it that's why you need whosoever come across this video should understand that we are not against him we are not in short that is why we are using his video because people believe that he has something to say to them but no matter what you have to say to a people and you are not the truth the one who should affect the change in humanity you see fall among them so the heart cry is a heart cry for help now let us channel this help to the one who is the helper the helper is the 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 peacemaker yes and no man is the helper outside god yes but i've said before and we continue to say this to our world that the helper which is god himself must be a person in our midst that will instruct us before things can work just as we establish men whom we think that when this one discuss with this one to say okay let us do like this to bring peace and peace doesn't stay so we will have somebody in our midst who will say do like this and the thing will stay forever Yes. That is the mystery that is, we are waiting to see. Yes. <coughs> best, best thought. Okay. You want to say something? What I wanted to just say was to 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 summarize or cut cut my my long description I was trying to make short, and say that when you are saying or when you are describing peacemaking as something that shouldn't stop or that something that should continue, mm -hmm. I say that's because. God is not involved. Yes. Now, when he's involved and does a thing, is once okay, and for all. Know. So your peacemaking that you're describing as something that shouldn't stop is because, or you need to understand it's because God is not involved mm -hmm. in it. And when you're also saying that peacemaking is not always successful, it's still a man thing. Because once God is involved and does a thing, he's the peace. So once he he's available or once he's around and establishes his peace it's always successful yes because he's the peace so once he establishes a thing or once he establishes a thing rather mm -hmm. it works and it works forever without stop without anybody spoiling it without any without any hand or any interference any no, redo, no, yes. no 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 hiccup and no need to redo it yes. so it's just to get that idea out of our minds to think that we are the ones who have the ability to bring, to bring peace. Peace. about yes. peace mm -hmm. and when we see the things we do in the name of peace not lasting or when we see the need for always con for continuous need of um, implementing what we call peace that we should just know which is which is where which is where which is where the the the, the ignorance comes in yes. because the ignorance is that we we keep on doing things and they don't work so it should show us that we aren't the ones who are supposed to do that, that, that thing. thing yes. So but we still ignore it and want to keep on doing it. So that's where the ignorance comes in because it's clear enough for us to see that it's not in our place to do certain things or to make certain things work. So our ignorance of the fact that it's not our position to make that thing work, not even the ignorance of the fact that it's God that should make it work, but our ignorance of the fact that we, are, that we aren't the ones to make that thing work is where we face or the thing is that, that we, we do not have the capacity because when we say we are not you know these things are i've said something when you, when when somebody if i sit down with brother Uche and you have a certain challenge that we want to come and speak so that the thing can be, yeah. calmness can come in mm -hmm. i come in brother Uche come in and we sit down we mediate we discuss mm -hmm. the discussion that supposed to the the permanent solution must come from the spirit that i come with yes or the spirit that brother Uche come with but when it has to do with god it doesn't work with people yes that's what it is so it is men that gather group that's arrange the group to try to bring peace peace but when it has to do with god it's just one person so that is why if we the we the world can understand that the things we seek for from men and we can't get the solution yes that same thing that we are looking for is what the person a single person will come to speak to us and all these things will just come 
Now, when we are now doing our own and it's not working, it should be a clear picture for us to understand that when, it's, when you now say that that is ignorant, we know the thing is not a work. Yes. But we keep continuing. Mm -hmm. Try a lot to see whether one day it will, it will, it will, yes. it will never. Yeah. It because you are on a building that the foundation is shaking. Yes. How do you think that the foundation, the building will ever stand? Yes. No matter how it is, one day that building will collapse. Yes. And that could just be the day you are inside. You see, those are the problems that our world needs to understand. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's um, let's um, hit play so we can uh, move forward with the video. So you choose either to engage in war and suffer the pain, then make peace, or make peace in order to avoid war. The choice is ours. Let us ask ourselves how the UN came about, because that is important. After the European tribal wars, which were no, I normally referred to as the World War, the first European tribal wars, which was 1914 to 1918, we created the League of Nations. And the whole idea was to create a multinational body which would ensure that there would be no war of that magnitude, of the magnitude that was seen in Europe between 1914 and 1918. But as you and me know, there was another war from 1939 to 1945. Another war came and the international community as then constituted took the view that the World War Two or the European Tribal War, the second European Tribal Wars, was the war that would end all wars. That is how they sat down in 1945 in San Francisco in the United States of America and came up with the UN, complete with what I call chapter, chapter 7 that deals with peace and security. Governments in Africa are underperforming. And therefore, these NGOs are filling that void. And we must, as a people, make demands of our government. Our threshold of satisfaction as a people in Africa is very low. We don't make demands of those whom we elect into government. And they have great contempt for us. And that is the problem. If African governments were to do things properly, you would not need NGOs. And there are countries where they are doing things properly. If you go to Mauritius, things are being done properly. If you go to Seychelles, things are being done properly. If you go to Botswana, things are being done properly. You go to Rwanda, things are being done properly. If you go to Tanzania, they are beginning to do things properly. If you go to Uganda, certain things are being done properly. When I was growing up in Nairobi, things were being done properly. Garbage was collected three times a day. There were hot lunch in Nairobi. There was free education free indeed with excise books and textbooks being supplied. There was medicine in our dispensaries and in all other places. Then we lost the script. Then we dropped the baton and we started electing a bunch of thieves into public office. And we have never recovered because we ran kleptocracies masquerading as democracies. We are part of the problem We the people. Democracy require, requires that the people themselves are eternally vigilant. It is we who elect those individuals. I actually wanted it to run to the end, but Rakufre says has something to say, so... You know, if you listen to everything we discuss here, you can see that the only way things can be done properly is when God is on ground. Exactly. There's no man on the face of this earth that can do no, things the proper way to do There is no yes. man. Yes. No, that is what that is what just come into my and I I need to put that out. Yes. The things we see as a people when when it's done, we think that that thing is proper. And you see that along the line, the, the things end. change. Yeah. You mentioned some certain countries where things were are done properly. You said that once in mm, Nairobi, Nairobi yes, things were done properly. Mm -hmm. so along the line. The thing is spoiled. Yes. It's the same thing that they have on them will spoil. Yes. And Somebody need to understand. It's the same thing. If 
And who, who even so told you that, that, that the that, that, things proper, are done properly? Done day to say, yes. Things are done properly defined. based on the way we define it. Yes. So when you are talking about peace and security, it's not the duty of man. Yes. Who should protect man? It's, it's Is it spirit. man? No. It's God that should protect man. Yes. It's God that should bring peace to man. It's God that should seek. That's why I said, except the Lord watch over his city. The watchman watch, watch it, but in vain. Is in vain. Yes. So you can have a million so whatever troop of army that you have in a country, things will see happen. Yeah. Yes. It has been happening like that. Yes. He never stop. But every day we keep admitting, recruiting new new form of force for forces mm. to see how things can work, but it doesn't work. Mm. That is because the person that generated all of us, that spirit that generated all of us, he knows that until man hangs up, yes. then he takes over. Things will never work. Yes. That is why everything I try to say here is that it is time for us to hand over the things that we have been doing to the one to whom will give us a guide. Because that's what he said, mm -hmm. that when that spirit of truth comes, he will guide us into all truth. He shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he, he said to us, he hear, that is what he will say. And he will show us things to come. Yes. I've said before, what is coming upon humanity is fearful for me because that is what we have been shown. And that is what everybody needs to understand. You see, when war, what we call war now, buzz out now, like Nigeria and uh, Niger. Niger now are trying to, you know, it's a drum. The spirit is playing it. Because we've said here and the last time that. It is time for us, especially in Nigeria, to wake, wake up. up yeah. Not to go to settle peace, but to embrace the peace that maker yeah. who is with us. Yes. So that things can work. Because all the Africa are looking up to Nigeria right now. Yes. And what makes them look up to us is the advent of that spirit that they don't know yet. That personality that has been born here is the reason why we, they see Nigeria as the, one of the greatest countries in the world. Yes. So it's time for us to wake up. Yes. That's just what I want to add there. Yes, and, and it is stated in the Bible that it is only in God that we have peace, but in the world, tribulation. Uh, yes. yes. So without that person of God, there is nothing that we do in the name of peace that can bring about peace. That's why the things that we keep um, achieving in the name of peace keep re happening again. So the peace that we think we have, we suddenly see that is no longer there. So that actually shows that that's not the peace that we actually need. We need the peace that comes from God, and when it comes, it's everlasting. And the only way we can achieve that peace is through obedience, because it is until we keep to his standard, uh, to his command, that we, we will take away the tribulations and replace it with peace that we actually need. We even Thank told you. us that man even know what peace is. Yes, the peace, the know. thing we said today has peace. Every yeah. of the organization that we said, they are looking for how to make money out of themselves. Yes. Just as war, war, this war now everybody's is a means of survival. Yes. There are people they, that are in, yeah, in denying this war because of it. what they what they need they to gain. gain yes. So it shows you that until the consciousness of man die off of gain, yes. my own. That is the only way things can work. They, they yeah. call it person of interest. Mm -hmm. They must have interest in, in what they are doing. So just like what is stated here in Luke uh, chapter 1, verses 79, to show us that peace is not the product of man. You cannot have peace by negotiating with your fellow man how we can live in peace. There's yes. nothing like that. It can't work. So peace has a way. Or like, let me just read through what is, is, is here, 79, Luke, Luke chapter 1, verses 79. To give light to them that sit in darkness, yeah. and in the shadow of death, to give a, uh, no, let me go back. To give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. To guide our feet into the way of, of peace. That is, the, that is the birth of the, the spirit in the person. Yes. That is the duty that the person is going to carry out. Yes. So he's going to instruct the people yes. on how they need to live. Yes. Because we, are, we dwell in darkness. Yes. Who, told, who, who established boundary for us? Today, a man that is born without nothing owns land yes how do you expect something to work yes you're born without nothing and you can you're born to see a, a, a ground let me call it a surface of 
earth. The earth. Mm, you, yes. you become honor. You claim yes. ownership. That is I the problem. Expect yes. peace. Yeah. To see when, when it is like that, this one will say it's mine. I want mm. to take it as mine. That, the other one say it should be it should belong to me. In that they fight. After the, a long fight, after the destruction, that's when you think that when you go and sit down and settle, that's what can settle that thing. Meanwhile, they had the destruction that you cause amongst yourself. The other one is still angry, even as you went back. Because, yeah. because when it comes to war, it's not both sides that will succeed. There's a side that will not supersede the, yeah, one side, other, which yes. will not make the other side oh. happy. No matter what you go there to say, you want to make peace. The anger is still there the because pain. the person, the pain is still there because mm -hmm. the person want that thing. You yes. understand? And you can't, you can't enter into the heart of the person to deal with that thing. Yes. So you need that one who will come to guide us into the path, the way of peace, because peace is not something you talk in with your mouth. Yes. yes. Peace is a lifestyle that is, is coming from to, the one who to, has to the show. life yes. to put us through in order for us to settle which is the life of freedom that brings about peace. But when once the ownership is there as man, you want to own things that you didn't bring. He said, where come war and fighting among you? That's what he asked yes. in the Bible. Where come war and fighting among you? He said, come ye not from the things ye lost after. Yes. That's what it is. I remember a movie I watched. One, one uh, black, uh, I think it was a black movie, uh, African, African movie. movie yeah. And one white person was passing on the plane. They will play and they drop a bottle. Okay. okay. What, yeah. Do you God remember that movie? Be crazy. The crazy. God's must be crazy. And somebody picked that bottle. In that village, they were living like, you know, mm -hmm. the introduction of that bottle brought, brought about the, the brought division. division. And so how did it, it's not just it. the bottle that brought the division. Because the, the bottle was there and they were using it to, you know, start playing around, you know. Mm -hmm. Some day, one day now, somebody now said this thing now. I won't give it to you. my own. As soon as you all said this is my own, that's where that is where the, the problem begins. Yes. And that is the, the spirit the that generated all of us is seeing that. Yes. How do you think that when you do that, he's happy with you? Mm. So every of the things that we see happening today in the world come as a result of when the spirit of creation is not happy with humanity. Yes. That is it. And the only way happiness can come when he would have the light is when he now comes to voice out and we obey him. Yes. Finish. That's the only way. Okay, so let's let's run through the video so we can um, round up what we have. Individuals, if you allow yourselves to be persuaded by individuals to elect them because of your ethnic affiliation or because they have corrupted you, then you are making the mistake. If you go to countries where people make demands of their leaders, things are being delivered. You go to the Scandinavian country, you go to Norway, you go to Denmark, you go to Finland, you go to Sweden and see how things are working. Because if you joke, the people will come and make you resign. But here, a person steals and we say we know he's a thief, but he's our thief. How can a country grow? A friend of mine once told me, that when you blame the windmill, you must also blame the wind. The leaders are the windmill, we are the wind. If we choose to swim in the sea of ignorance, then we can only discover islands of corruption. But if we choose to swim in the seas of meritocracy, then we can discover islands of hope. The choice is ours. For the moment we have chosen to drink from the poison chalice of ethnicity and corruption, and we are reaping the dividends, bitter fruits. Okay, so we have uh, run the video to the end. I made some notes, but they won't be needed anymore. Let me, before you summarize, let me let me say something based on what you just said. You see, if you look at everything that we have come to realize today. Because we are sitting down here because of the realization. Yes. And that realization comes as a result of the birth of the spirit in the person. Yes. yes. You can see now. Right now, we've said that this is not a time to point the finger at somebody. Yes. That is the difference between what we are here doing with what is going on. Yes. There is nobody to blame right now. Yeah. Because whatever thing you are seeing going on is a plan of the spirit. Is the way the spirit engineer man to go first. Remember, we, we've said that 
that we were programmed like that to yes. go in that bondage of corruption yes. is the way it is. Yes. So the, yes. this is not a time to blame anybody. Yes. But where blame will come is as the bet of this person is on ground and is mm -hmm. voicing out now how we are supposed to follow and we refuse to follow. Yes. That is where the blame will come. Yes. So this is not a time to blame both the women and uh, the win. The win. The win. Yeah. Because the win self is supposed to even be the spirit that is doing everything. Yeah. If you want to follow the mystery of what is going on, yes. the win is the spirit, is the manipulator of everything. Yes. But where the voice that will calm the win yeah. is that voice of the choosing one. Yes. These things are programmed. Nobody can change it. If you think you want to take the work that belongs to God, then go and try now. Let's see how it will work. It can never work. So I just want to add that. Yeah, because I was saying, I was saying I made some notes that won't be needed again. That was because it was there was a period within the stretch of the video we are watching that he was just trying to describe describe how governments were not working well to achieve peace, mm -hmm. how were um, certain organizations were established to achieve peace, talking about all sorts and sorts. But why I said the notes won't be needed, I won't be needing it again is because after listening to it and what does the talk that came after 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 you and um, sister Yutz, I just said that there was no need because our focus, just as we said from the beginning, is on who the peacemaker yeah, is. Yes, because true. if you want to go into certain things that that he said or certain things that we are talked about in the video, we might just end up going not necessarily off the point because there is there's no information that that would that would turn out to be to be useless yes. at the end yes. especially coming from this source yes. but since we are sticking to who the peacemaker is it won't be really necessary to touch it because when you but i still feel like at least just to brush it a little bit as i wanted to say that there's no need of touching it but as i wanted to go on he still said let me just brush it so he talked about the establishment of the un and what the un was supposed That's to the... achieve yes why it came? Following what he said, the establishment of the of the of the UN was to stand as a peacemaker, yes. an establishment that should that should Bring implement peace, peace. Yes. <clears throat> when there is war, avoid or mediate between certain countries or Region. or regions to 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 establish peace, yes. and the thoughts was that after the establishment of this organization, which is the UN, yeah. that there weren't going to be any form of war, war or, or, anything, conflict, or again. conflict. Mm. But according to him, he said, just as you and I know, yes. that there were wars that came after, after that. that. Until today, there are still wars that are still being fought, oh, even okay. after the establishment of that organization. Yes. And... If you look at it critically, you you realize that the establishment of that UN is just like us talking about the presence of God and what He's supposed to to do. do. Yes. So basically, the 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 the, the organization as in UN has now taken that place of that course. is supposed to be for God, so which see. is why they do what they, all they do and it doesn't work mm -hmm. the way it's supposed to work oh, because. Yeah. They are the ones who are supposed to be in that position oh, as for me. the yeah. peacemaker. Peacemaker. Yes. That's one of it. He also talked about the establishment of NGOs because the governments aren't doing what they are supposed to do. Yeah. And this is these are the reasons why I said I didn't want to touch it because it's it will just stretch 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 this our discussion now to to areas that that would that won't necessarily be needful. Regarding this issue, we are make, we are we are talking about. To make, so, to make it brief, mm -hmm. to make it brief mm -hmm. we have said here that as long as it's human that are sitting down to deliberate whatever issues that they think, yeah, you are you are the one that have a problem. Mm -hmm. You are crying for God to come and solve your problem, yes. and you are now looking towards me to come and solve the. Am I God? Because no. What you need to do is to wait. If God appears, look like Brother Uche. Mm -hmm. Just okay. know that it's him that you need. Yes. Because I am not God. Yes. But the challenge we have today, which is what we keep saying, is the, the man you are looking for to come and deliberate issue for you so that peace can come. That same person 
that same body you see is the same body that the spirit that have the capacity to affect that change you are looking for will come by so all humanity need right now is to to seek for that body by whom the authority has been given to because when you are talking about government government is supposed to be upon the shoulder of that person yes we've talked about government they can go and listen to it and see what what we talked about here that government is a spirit he's supposed to be run by that person he obeys that person mm -hmm. when you enter into the office of the governor you are not the governor yeah. you are only running in the office of the governor in that four years to eight years these are spiritual things that we don't know man is a product of the spirit yes. so he's going to be led by the spirit yes. by a spirit but this time by the one who is supreme that will instruct him yes that is what it is yes well so i'm not trying to cut you but i want somebody to understand this so that they understand where we are going to you have explained a lot for somebody to understand from the beginning that what we do as a people will never establish peace yes can never that peace because when you eat finish in the morning in the afternoon you will be hungry yes that's man that is man but see when god come to give you food he said that one when once you eat that one yes. you will yes. never be hungry again not taste again mm -hmm. don't don't nobody knows how that that's food. going to work so let's not just put an idea and somebody say that i will cause you more confusion so what i would say to summarize or round up all we have been talking about is this that the world won't change because men did things but rather the world will change because we as men stopped doing things yes. that's how i would like to summarize all we have been discussing by saying that the world won't change because we as men did things that changed the, the world, world. Mm -hmm. but rather the world will change or the world will change rather because we as men stopped doing the things that we have been doing Yes. Because it's those things that we have been doing that has caused the world to be the way it is. Yes. So on that note, I would say we have come to the end of um, today's uh, moment. And as usual, if you have questions which you need answers to or you need clarity as it relates to this episode of um, the Peace or the Peacemaker or our previous um, episodes, you can send us a mail via the email addresses on the screen and we'll be sure to get back to you and as usual if you want to be a part of our live um, sessions you can indicate that in your mail and we would um, establish a video link to have you join us via a video streaming platform and that procedure doesn't require any monetary charge all you need is your access to the internet and you can get to be with us so on that note we'll say bye for now till we come your way next time <laughs>